All right, so let's go on out now back to the roads and Tim Pamplin is out and about and driving. Hey, Tim, you're on the clock now and where are you? <laughs> Christy, good evening. I just, or oh, good afternoon. I just left home up here in uh, Oakland Township, up near Wingate Golf Club, Adams Silver Bell area. I just applied the brakes on Adams and slid down the hill near the Kroger there. Under the snow, it is very, very icy. Now, this is just the beginning of our Wednesday afternoon commute here, just getting underway. We're going to be with you all afternoon throughout the evening, bringing you these live drive reports here at Local 4 Plus and at Local 4 News on the broadcast side. But the snow, when I left the house, I put a quick uh, uh, ruler in my back, uh, backyard there, four and a half inches or snow right there, and it is coming down at a fair clip. But again, the roads out here, the, the, the back roads, a snow covered ice underneath. Uh, I looked at some of the uh, Google Maps earlier, the, the real time traffic sensor maps. Everything's orange or red. Just got a message from uh, Northville Beck Road between seven and eight mile. Avoid that area. That is a sheet of ice. They've actually been forced to shut Beck Road down between seven and eight mile. But uh, this is your live condition here at uh, Oakland Township, Auburn Hills, Rochester Hills area, Christy. Yeah, you know, as the temperature is dropping, um, you know, we talked about how effective the salt was really in the beginning of the storm and then how heavy and wet it is. But then if you get that little bit of ice underneath and now you've got the more uh, more snow coming on top of it, makes for um, tough conditions. Tim, you do this a lot, though. You have been driving these roads during snowstorms and covering things for, for Channel 4 for a very long time. How would you kind of equate, like, when you go to go out on the road like this, what do you think about um, what kind of tips can you share with everyone? Well, give yourself plenty of time. You're not going to get anywhere in a hurry. And once you start speeding and hurrying up, that's when you start getting into all sorts of problems. You've got to take it slow. Right now, 20 miles an hour here along Silver Bell Road. That's what I'm comfortable at. Clearly, that's what the people in front of me are comfortable at. Drive at your comfort level. Um, and don't be too confident. I'm in a very large uh, SUV, a four-wheel drive. And like I said earlier, those four-wheel drive doesn't help you when you got to stop. You're just going to have four wheels sliding down the hill. That does you no good. It's the stopping that's the issue, not the going. So uh, yeah, make sure you've got plenty of time. And make sure you've got plenty of supplies in the vehicle. Don't go out on fumes. If you can get gas in your car, put gas in your car. Make sure you've got washer fluid. Make sure all your windows around your vehicle have been cleared off of snow. The last thing you need is to look in your rear view mirror and not see anybody because everything's fogged up. And you look over your shoulder and you can't see anybody because you've got snow covered windows over your left and right shoulder there. So just make sure your vehicle is ready for the road. Get as much snow off as you can. And hopefully you can keep going like stop the snow from building back up on the vehicle. But something else is very important is about the supplies in the vehicle. Make sure you've got everything you need. If you if we were to slide off the road here and go into a ditch, it might take a few hours for us to get someone to come and help us. Do we have a heavy coat? Do we have proper footwear? Uh, probably not the best best weather to be going out in your pajamas, if you know what I mean. Make sure you've got blankets and lots of clothing and, and you're stocked up and you're ready for, I mean, a lot of people suffer weather anxiety, you know, Christy. They get concerned, they get worried, they go to a shops and stock up. The thing is, we've been telling you about this for a while here. You get your news, you get your information, and you, and you know what's coming. you got a good idea of what's coming. Be prepared. Don't be scared. Yeah, I think it's a really good. Th this is the first episode of Tim Pamplin's Driving School. We're going to capture this. We're going to put this, uh, put this <laughs> online. This is, this is really good, Tim. Um, one thing I will point out, what you're doing right now, you see that Tim is doing, is he's leaving plenty of distance between himself and the car in front of him. Um, for all of our fellow tailgaters out there, I see you on the Lodge Freeway. Um, uh, you know, remember to try to give yourself a little bit of space in, in front so you have time to stop it unexpectedly if something is, is changing. Absolutely right. And don't forget, check your fluids. The last thing you want is, is, is a situation where you become disabled or stranded simply because you didn't make a plan. You didn't think ahead. So think ahead. Do I have gas? Do I have fuel? Do I have supplies in the car? Think of the worst case scenario and then back time from that and, and you should be okay. Just take your time. All right. So uh, you are on your way in, Tim. And tell me when you, we have snow like this, what is your strategy when you say, all right, I'm going to be out and about and I'm looking for stories and I'm, I'm checking certain roadways. Is there like a certain path or pattern that you take or certain parts of the area that you go first? You're like, oh, I'm going to hit Southfield. I'm going to go on 696 or kind of when you go to cover something like this, what do you think about well this one was particularly interesting it's all about timing right christy mm -hmm. just like in comedy it's all about the delivery and the timing <laughs> and this right. one kind of worked in our favor a little bit because the morning commute was okay 
and crews were able to get the salt down on the freeways, which is why we're just seeing slushy freeways, and you can actually see the, uh, the asphalt underneath, the concrete underneath. So uh, th that worked in our favor. Check the maps uh, at clickondetroit.com. We've got real-time traffic sensor maps. You can uh, check those and uh, see where the traffic's flowing. Right now, I can tell you it's an entirety of orange. I looked about an hour and a half ago. It was down near the Toledo-Fort Wayne area where it was all orange. An hour and 10 minutes later, it's our entire area that's all orange. So check your route before you go. It's all part of the pre-planning, you know. Um, so, uh, you see that vehicle in front there. Tires spinning, the front wheel spinning on that one. Yeah, we see uh, it. The back yep. wheel spinning on the, yeah, and that white vehicle there, he can't get traction or she can't get traction. The tires just spinning on that minivan there. This is indicative of how bad the roads are out here. There's another vehicle coming up to my right, wheel spinning. It's when you come to a stop, and you got to get going again, right? So uh, again, take your time. This is very, very this is a, a good case in point where you can actually see the wheel spinning. People are not able to get traction. This is what it's like out here right now. Yeah, are you on Telegraph right now, Tim? I'm about to loop around on 24. This is Lapeer Road. Uh, this is a Michigan uh, uh, left. Normally, uh, we're hot to trot on these things, right? You see a little gap, you pop out. Not today. You wait till you can see. It's absolutely clear off in the distance. Visibility here about half a mile after this plow here. I see it's clear to go, so I can pull out here. Uh, but yeah, I feel, I feel this truck drifting a little bit as I came around there, and I was literally just feathering the gas. When you... Uh, and when you do get into a situation, here's something I was reading about earlier for Michigan State Police. If you, t if you do start skidding, if you do start losing control, take your feet off the pedals. St keep your eyes on the road and point the vehicle in the direction you want to go. Again, you don't want to hit the brakes, you don't want to hit the gas. That's just going to cause all sorts of problems with traction. Stay focused, steer the direction you want to go, two hands on the wheel, and just stay focused. Yeah, that's really good advice um, passing along from MSP. Also, you know, when you, Tim, maybe you can also give us some advice. And again, we're now in installment number four of Tim's driving school, Tim's winter driving school. Uh, changing lanes is sometimes where we can get into uh, into the biggest trouble when we have snow snow like this. Yeah, I, I try to avoid that as much as possible. I pick a lane <laughs> and I stay in it. Hopefully not the level for the speeding lane. Now I'm seeing coming up behind me, we got a, uh, looks like a road commission for Oakland County uh, salt truck. I don't see the plow down. Uh, it may well be, but uh, I'm just going to stay in my lane here behind this uh, big semi. Again, doing about 25, 30 miles an hour on Lapeer Road. We're heading southbound here. If you imagine where we are, the Palace of Auburn Hills will be down here on the right in just a couple of miles. Uh, but this road, 24, as we saw earlier, watching this guy on the left. I yeah. was just going to say, I mean, you had just talked about, you know, the Michigan lefts when we just can pop out when we find a space and you said, I'm going to wait until I have the right, you know, the right entrance amount. And that guy was like, nope, just kind of scooting in. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was I, I would never have done that. When you've got a big semi in front of me, you got me and then you got a salt truck behind me. I would not be popping out just like that because uh, what is that? That's uh, a GMC. It's probably a front wheel drive. Uh, he's just going to spin out in front of someone if he didn't get good traction. He survived that one. But again, Michigan Michigan turns. Be very, very careful when you pull out on those. Because as we saw earlier, wheels are spinning. You don't get traction. The next thing you know, you've got a salt truck or a semi or at local for night cam. That's right. right. Yeah, you know that's right. That. All oh, right. We've got police up here on the right. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, up what's here. going on? a crash of some sort. Uh, let's just pull up here. Uh, this is near Dutton Brown Road. Uh, no, maybe just someone getting pulled over, getting a ticket. That's uh, adding insult to injury right there, unfortunately. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, Tim Pamplin making his way in here for us today. We really appreciate, uh, appreciate riding along with you, Tim. And we'll check back in with you in, uh, in a little bit. I'll be doing this for the next 10 hours or so. Wish me luck. <laughs> you got it. Good luck, buddy. We'll see you soon.